Hey guys, welcome to an extension of the last video, Experimental Determination of Empirical Formulas. We're just going to do a quick problem together, review it, and call it a day. Let's get into today's video. Our problem states, a sample of a compound contains 30.46% nitrogen and 69.54% oxygen by mass. The molar mass of the compound is between 90 and 95 grams. Determine the molecular formula and accurate molar mass of the compound. Let's take a minute to talk about how to find this. I didn't teach you how to find the molecular formula, but if you remember from past videos, it's the actual formula of a compound. The empirical formula is the simplest form of that compound. For example, H2O2 would be the molecular form of hydrogen peroxide, but it can be simplified to just HO, which is its empirical formula. So, to find the molecular formula, first find the empirical formula, and then multiply it by the needed proportion so that it fits the weight range that we need it to be in. Now, pause this video and try to solve this problem. Unpause when you're ready to check your answer. Okay, let's go over the answer. First, let's assume we have 100 grams of the compound. I know it says we have between 90 and 95 grams, but this just makes it easier to use the percent by mass of each element that we're given. So, 30.46% by mass of nitrogen is 30.46 grams and 69.54% oxygen is 69.54 grams. Let's convert these to moles. 30.46 grams nitrogen times one mole nitrogen over 14.01 grams of nitrogen, which is its molar mass, will give us about 2.174 moles of nitrogen. And 69.54 grams of oxygen times one mole of oxygen over 16 grams of oxygen, its molar mass should give us about 4.346 grams of oxygen. This gives us an empirical formula of N 2.174 O 4.346. This isn't very pretty, so we'll divide the whole thing by 2.174, and that gives us N O 2. Now, for the final step, we just have to make sure the compound matches the sample weight that we have. The empirical molar mass of the compound is 14.01 grams of nitrogen plus 2 times 16 grams of oxygen, since we have two oxygen atoms in the compound. This is 46.01 grams. 90 grams, the smallest possible mass of the compound divided by 46.01 grams, gives us about 1.956, which is a little less than 2. And 95 grams, the highest possible mass of the compound, divided by 46.01 grams, gives us about 2.065 grams, a little more than 2. That means that the only number that we can multiply our empirical formula by is 2. That gives us N2O4. Now, if we take the empirical mass that we have, 46.01 grams, and multiply it by 2, we get 92.02 grams. The mass is within the range we were given, so we know we got an accurate answer. The last problem combined pretty much everything we've learned from the last video and more in one. It might have seemed a bit difficult, so keep practicing with the problems in your textbook. You can always come back to this video to review these types of problems if you need it. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe for more videos every week.